Yeah! Who put Lord Voldemort in the tumble dryer? <laughs> Who gave Mr. Burns access to the baby filter on Instagram? <laughs> Ryan Cullen looks like the kind of cunt Will Smith found peace with at the end of I Am Legend. <laughs> Jack Trainer is what you get if you mash all of the Rugrats together. <laughs> Jack looks like he would rape hitchhikers in his truck if only he could see you over the steering wheel. <laughs> the closest thing Jack will get to a woman is being misgendered from the back. <laughs> Yeah, call me Jacqueline now. <laughs> Ryan once turned down sex with a porn star because he was having too much fun on a night out. I've not seen a person that scared of having sex since I locked the bedroom door closed on his mum last night. <laughs> Ryan looks like the alien that abducted me. <laughs> Apparently Ryan's Irish. I know, I didn't know Roswell was a border town either. <laughs> well done. Jack looks like he cuts his hair with a windmill. <laughs> Jack, if you're here, who is storming the Capitol building in DC? <laughs> it's very brave of Jack to be here, you know. Uh, especially halfway through transitioning into a 46 year old lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan has the same facial structure and immune system as Alexander Litvichenko. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan was hated so much by his parents that his first steps were the ones in front of the orphanage. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ryan's kept up with the family tradition of terrorism. Shame it's only vibe terrorism and he'll room in a family gathering instead of blowing himself up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't explain it, but Jack looks like his parents used the contents of an ashtray as loop. <laughs> I believe that they were even trying to be a comedian. The only time this man will be on TV is talking about the secrets of Area 51. <laughs> it looks like a Sims version of Joe Exotic. <laughs> the Tiger Tiger King. <laughs> Jack was a top athlete in school. He was the champion needle and spoon racer. <laughs> If you saw Colin without his top on, you'd be surprised he's not vegan. <laughs> Ryan looks like he gives himself food poisoning recreationally. <laughs> you can sponsor Colin for a four pound a month. <laughs> which is coincidentally how much that cunt weighs. <laughs> Jack, Jack is part of the Wholesome Blues, the Wholesome Prison Blues Collective, a group of comics who perform in various prisons across Scotland. Jack fucking loves doing that gigs because it's the only time he gets to spend time with his father. <laughs> this, uh, we, just a little insight to this, uh, Kieran Bartlett and Mickey Bartlett had to drop out. Okay, Kieran got very, very sick just before the show. So this is a very much a, a last minute, you know, battle. And I asked Jack, like, Jack, do you have any information on yourself that I can use? And Jack, one of the messages Jack wrote was, I was really into gangster rap at an early age. So much so that when my mother found one of my raps, she submitted it of evidence of a complex learning difficulties to the government so that she could claim more benefits. Now, I've read my uncle's suicide note. And that was way, way less sad than that fucking shit. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking true. Yeah. 
Looking at Ryan, you wouldn't think it's been 270 years since the potato famine. <laughs> when I found out Ryan's dad was in the Ra, he had to correct me. Apparently it's some Republican army, not Rapists Anonymous. <laughs> If you want to see Colin's show this year, he's doing a tribute act called Sinead O'Gonna. <laughs> Cheers, Daniel. And, uh, uh, apparently, Ryan took a bribe from his university to leave his course, so with that information, I'll just do us all a favour. Give this comedy shit a rest, mate. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, yeah, Jack, you were actually born to do comedy. Specifically, my name is Earl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jack's so ugly he can sense earthquakes before they happen. Uh, Jack, a genuinely stuttered Mandarin in China. Away. Yeah, yeah. Just so he could be with the people of the same height. Uh, even though Jack's actually been to Wuhan, he actually genuinely looks like he's the patient zero for mad cow disease. <laughs> That's me, Don. That's for you. Thank you, Ryan.